Hi everyone, welcome to another video and this video is going to be slightly different than what I usually make. Uh, in this video I want to talk about how I get my jerseys and where I get my jerseys from and I'm doing this because this is something that I get asked a lot so hopefully this helps. I always get asked this a lot, where do you buy your jerseys from? Where did you find this jersey? Where did you get this from? How much did you pay for it? And it's, it's not... It, I'm not making this video because it annoys me or anything. I'm actually making this so it helps you out. I'll share my information and, you know, if that can help somebody, that's great. Or you can give me your information and that'll help me. I got into collecting replicas and official jerseys about um, a year and a half ago. I was sitting at a cafe with my friend. We had bought a baseball jersey two and a half years ago. So we always wanted to buy a cricket jersey now. Um, and we were just sitting there thinking about where to buy jerseys from and he mentioned let's look for eBay and we both were like hey we don't trust eBay we never trusted eBay we always thought it was fake we thought they would scam us and that's that's a very like you know a lot of people do think that I've talked to my other friends as well and they say the same thing like they never trusted eBay and I've told them now hey eBay is amazing and the first jersey uh, that I had bought was the Australia a polo from Ashes 2010, I believe. I got it for $14 with shipping, or $10 with shipping. And it, it was a great price, uh, so I instantly got it. And um, that's how my authentic replicas started a year and a half ago. And now I have over, I believe, 50 jerseys. So I'm obsessed with it, 50 authentic jerseys. Um, so I'm obs obsessed with it now, and that's, the knowledge that I want to be able to take whatever I've learned over the last year and a half and I want to pass it on and learn more from you people. So what I'm going to share in this video is collective knowledge of myself, my friend, other people that I've talked to on Twitter and Instagram who have helped me to buy more jerseys, who have helped me to find out more rare jerseys that I can't find on eBay. So the number one website that I would say that you need to buy jerseys from is eBay. Simple as that. And let's say you live in um, the UK, right? So you go on ebay.co.uk. You're going to find some nice jerseys there, but you're going to miss out jerseys that are up there on ebay.com.au on the Australian um, um, eBay. So make sure you look at eBay from Australia, from England, from uh, the United States, you'll find rare jerseys and different jerseys on different eBay stores. And um, one of the um, followers or friends that I've met on uh, Twitter, uh, his name is Mitchell. Mitchell uh, told me that you could go on pickclick.com and you can find different jerseys. And what pickclick.com does, it it's gathers jerseys from almost all around the world or maybe all around the world and it puts them up there based on the newly listed ads. So you can look at all these uh, websites, all these eBay websites together on pickclick.com. With pickclick, you can, what you can do is you can also go on pickclick.ca. Then you go to the Canadian version and you'll find one or two jerseys that are different. You'll go on pickclick.com.au, you'll go on pickclick.co.uk. That's where you can find more jerseys. And um, sometimes you will come across a jersey, let's say on pickclick.com.eu, and it takes you to the eBay ad. And you see that there's this really beautiful jersey that you really, really want to get, but it doesn't ship to your country. I've had that problem many times being in Canada. I see jerseys from the UK or Australia that don't get shipped here. Just message the seller. You have to be able to communicate with the seller. I've seen so many ads where they don't ship to Canada, and I message them. I'm like, hey, would you ship to Canada and how much would it be? Because if it's something I can afford, I'll buy it. And I've done that at least like, I think six or seven times. So I bought six or seven jerseys doing that. For two, you can go to Amazon. Now Amazon has a very poor collection of jerseys. I don't know why that is. Maybe they just let you sell things that you own the rights. So I don't know how Amazon works, but Amazon is really good for other things like electronics and stuff. It's it's amazing. I haven't been able to find one good jersey on there. They're all fake jerseys and they're overpriced. They're like 
60 bucks, 70 bucks for fake jersey, and I'm not going to be paying that for a fake jersey. So, but you can check Amazon. You can find you can find uh, fan T-shirts or fan polos on Amazon. So I I believe I bought um, yeah I bought the England 2019 Champions polo from Amazon for around uh, 18 to 20 bucks. So you can find stuff like that, but uh, I wouldn't recommend Amazon as much as I'd recommend eBay. eBay is uh, amazing in terms of the collection that eBay has. Number three that I would recommend is. If you're into county cricket, especially if you're an English fan, go on every county's website. Go on every single county's website, go to their shop or their store or the merchandise, whatever tab that they have, and look for jerseys there. Sometimes you will find England jerseys on, um, let's say, on Lancashire's website or on Durham's website. And you'll find it for, let's say, sometimes for 40 bucks or 50 bucks. You will be saving 15 to 20 bucks sometimes. And it's, it's amazing. So I would totally recommend that you go on every single county's uh, shop. If you're really passionate about it, you will go through all those websites. Also visit every single website of every single national team. So I have been to South Africa's website. I've been to England's website. Uh, India's and, and this applies to different leagues as well go on the IPL teams go on CPL PSL and then you can find these jerseys for every single uh, team on their respective websites number four is a bunch of random websites that I've come across now number four I would say is uh, there's World Cricket Store they have a lot of good jerseys um, and they have some rare jerseys, so you can find those rare jerseys from there. Again, I don't know if they ship to your respective country or not, but you can find jerseys from there. That's where I look as well. I look at Etsy.com. Um, I don't even know how I came across this website. I didn't even know this was a website. I was just looking for jerseys one day and they had jerseys. I myself have not bought a single jersey from there because whatever jersey I see on there, I also see on eBay, so I just end up getting it from eBay. But you can, I've seen some good jerseys on um, Etsy. You can also look for other people on Instagram and Twitter who are jersey collectors and they also sell jerseys. What has happened is I post pictures of my collection on uh, Instagram and people message me asking, hey, how much is that jersey? And I'm like, that's not for sale. That's just my collection. I just posted a picture of it. It's not for sale. But I understand why they would get confused because so many other Instagrammers or Twitter people uh, post uh, their, their jerseys and they post them with the intention of selling it. So have you know go look for those people as well. Usually, you know, in the in the caption they'll say, hey, it's XYZ dollars or or pounds or euros and then you can buy jerseys from there as well but make sure they're trustworthy people make sure they have um like a good amount of followers a lot of posts and they're they're active on there that's why the thing with ebay is them working with paypal and you know you can look at the ratings of the buyer that's why i trust ebay so my number one go-to website that i would recommend to anybody is go on ebay through pickclick.com so that way you'd be able to find the best jerseys. And another thing that I want to include is if you're going to buy jerseys, you have to be willing to spend the money. People ask me if I can give them jerseys. I've been asked so many times. And again, I'm not annoyed, but like you have to understand certain things. People have messaged me saying, hey, can I get that jersey of yours? And I'm like, no, you can't because I paid 75 bucks for this. You know, I'm not, I I'm not some rich person. I'm just a random dude. I, <laughs> I you know, I, I'm just lucky enough that um, I still live with my parents, so I don't have to worry about rent or food. So that money just goes towards buying jerseys. But in like three years, that's not going to be my life. If you're going to have a cricket collection, if you want to grow that cricket collection, you have to be willing to spend the money. I have spent over my entire collection, I would say is around anywhere from 1500 to 1700 uh, US dollars. That's my entire collection. If you have an obsession, obsessions are usually expensive and this is an ex expensive obsession that I have. So I can't, I can't, as much as I would love to, I can't just give out my jersey. So 
follow all these websites, look for jerseys, be willing to spend the money. Uh, sometimes you'll find a jersey for $5 with $15 shipping and $20 import charges. And sometimes you'll have to pay all that if you really want a jersey. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that helped. I went into a lot of detail because it's something that I want to be able to help all the friends that I meet online and I want to be able uh, to see their collection grow as well. Um, I see a lot of people with wonderful collections on there and it's, it's really nice to see that but people who don't have a good collection or a big collection or want to start collecting, I hope this video helps you in some way and you can help grow your own um, collection and we can be a part of this uh, cricket jersey collection community and that's my goal with this channel is to meet all you passionate cricket fans and all the people that are into jersey collection so i hope you like this video if you want to follow me please do follow me on twitter and instagram at cricket underscore jerseys and talk to me about jerseys and i'll help you buy more jerseys and we can grow our collection together thank you so much for watching